And welcome back to Ozarks Live. Now, you just got the taste of From the Tailgate, and as you can see, we're here with Miss Jamie Johansson herself. Jamie, good. In the thanks, flesh. thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having you know, me. We've, we've had you on once before, mm -hmm. and it, it's, it's, it's been a little while. So, talk to us about From the Tailgate, if you will, a little bit. You know, you guys are entering which season now? Third season. Start Sunday. Third season. What can we look forward to as, as we go into the third season? Well, the third season will start July 5th, and the show airs at uh, 6. Uh, PM and 9:30 PM on KOZL, and we're starting off the season talking about the beef industry, mm -hmm. and we're going to visit a um, the Cope family farm in Berry County, and then we're going to go to the processing end, so kind of pasture to plate, and then um, we're going to switch gears and um, we're going to talk uh, some about the small ruminants and do some sheep and goats, visit some strawberry patches, um, some gardens. We're going to travel to the city and learn what an agrohood is. So lots of diversity. You're 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 like. Covering the whole gamut there. From if, let, let me ask you something because uh, just watching, you know, the last thing that, that we showed there. What is the big surprise that you have learned, you know, in in doing what you're doing? Because there's always one of those things that make you go, "Huh, I didn't even think about that." Yeah. Well, I think I'm continually surprised about the diversity of Missouri agriculture and agriculture mm -hmm. as a whole because um, the people behind it um, are always inspiring. And I think that uh, most recently, um, understanding the the science that goes behind the strawberry patches that are so popular yeah. um, in the in the late spring and early summer months, and then learning about the Spanish goat this summer has also been fun. Really? Yes. Yeah, what what is it about the Spanish goat that that got your attention? Well, um, we we visited a ranch um, in South Central Missouri, and they were a Texas family that moved their operation from Texas to Missouri, and they also they started out with cattle, and they were like, man. Cattle don't really like this terrain well, and they switched to goats. And yeah. Spanish goats are are hardy, and the growing popularity of goat meat on the east and west coast is is pretty cool. Oh yeah, goats are cool too. They They're are. very smart animals. <laughs> uh, you know, the one thing that I noticed, you know, watching that that piece is the fact that you could take a, a cowboy, for want of a better word, from the 1860s, drop him in there, and he would fit up to a point. But you're talking about multitasking on phones, computers, yeah. the live auctioneer, which that's the one where the 1860s mm -hmm. guy fits in. But all of this stuff, they're dealing all around the world is what they're doing. Agriculturalists, farmers and ranchers are the fastest adopters of technology. That's what and I, I think that's what's surprising to many because when it comes to um, a tablet or a cell phone, um, app development and that technology, um, you're seeing it picked up by farmers um, in their, their 60s and 70s when they're retiring age to young ones like me. And so that's pretty, it's, it's pretty fun to see that adoption. From what I also recall and have talked to people about, they're some of the best record keepers on the face <laughs> of the be. earth. You have to be. Yeah, yeah. Is it tough out for there, uh, out there for them right now? Um, the economy um, of agriculture, Missouri, um, agriculture is Missouri's number one economy. Yes. And um, and it's a testament to uh, to the true um, legacy of farmers and ranchers across the, t the state and, and across the nation, but it is tough. Um, but as we see through the show, um, resilience and endurance and the science that goes behind it, um, the decisions that they make, because it really comes down to, yeah, they love what they do, but they got to meet that bottom line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same forever. You yeah, got to meet the bottom line. People want more information. They want to keep track of mm -hmm. what you're doing. They want to make sure to watch the show. Absolutely. Tell them how to do that. Well, the best way to, to learn about us is on Facebook um, and Instagram. Once again, we air every Sunday night at 6 and 9.30 p.m., and we are um, eager to share the season with all of the viewers. All right, Jamie, hope you have a great season, and thanks for stopping in with Thank us you, today. Tom. All right. Coming up, it's time for Turton Back Time. Yep, I'm sure Joy is on the edge of her seat. Well, no, maybe not. Okay, Ozark's Live will be right back. <laughs>